Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's OJ back again. We finally watch an anime on the channel again. Today, we're checking out something new. Today, we're checking out Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, Season 1, Episode 1. Widely lauded by my friends, widely recommended by my friends. They all know I love Bleach, so they said I'd probably fuck with this too. And if y'all know anything about me, I don't like to really, I don't, I don't really like to sit down and compare things to one another. I like to let them stand on their own legs. So that being said, I am excited to watch it because I fucking loved Bleach until, uh, until that, that, that last, those last two arcs. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. That's besides the point. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Let's do it. Boom, bop, bang. Oh shit, that's loud as hell. Oh, hi, yo. This is our main character. You gotta undercut. Which one are you right now? Gojo Satara. Come on, French Rose. What's going on, bro? Hold up. All right, we back. In some kind of. This shit is loud as hell again. Decided that you'll be secretly executed. Well, that's one way to start off your show. Alright, this is definitely not 1080p. So, very, bro, what's going on? Alright, there we go. No, I'm really rocking with this art style. Wait, that's Eve. Oh shit! Nah, I know that. I know that voice. That's Eve. Uh, so I'm guessing he has some kind of demon inside of him. Hey, yo, this animation is just nuts. Yep, Eve right there. Damn, this is going to be a struggle to not just go and read the manga because this art style is amazing. You have eyes on his face? What in the name of fucking data is going on here? Ryumen Sukuna, episode one. Itadori. Itadori desu. What, did he die or something? Oh, I guess not if she's going to go check. God damn. <laughs> I love you too, Grandpa. God damn. I guess our son, uh, our man Itadori right here. Uh, he goes to the club. He's a he's an anime protagonist, so you know, he he lives by himself. Cursed object. Nope. 
Whatever you're looking for is going. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. And you wonder if there's something in the fridge and you open it again, even though you know there's not a damn thing in there. No going home until it's recovered. Yeah, GG. Oh, shit. Uh, occult phenomenon. Research club. Sasaki. Iguchi and Sasaki. Oh, what's this called? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Sea angel. A type of plankton living in cold. <laughs> so is this like some a ghost hunting anime laid off from work failed to start Well, GG boys, pack it up. I actually didn't know that ticks affect humans like that. Come on, my man. Who the hell is this? Excuse me, there's a problem here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what is going on, bro? Okay, is this a gag anime or is it ghost hunting anime? I love how the president is just beside himself. Yes, thank you. You see, the president is my favorite type of character archetype, the straight man. I'm all for a ghost hunting gag anime, to be honest. What the fuck is that? Grade 2 curse must be. Looks like some shit I'd kill in a fucking Dark Souls game to get an upgrade item. No unauthorized entry. I got my man out here looking for the fucking talisman dildo. Wait, so is UG in middle school or high school? I'm confused. He says from West Middle. Oh, wow. Okay, so just four below. What's that shot put? <laughs> the ninja one. So you're just four below Japan's uh, record. Tiger whistle. He does kind of look like a tiger, to be honest. You're talking too soon, my guy. Dog. <laughs> well so coach Takagi is out of it hey so <laughs> yeah they're taking selfies with my man
That's really how these kind of that's how those kind of gloves get you. Hey, we need members. You don't gotta do nothing. Join up. Oh, that's nice. Zenian Sampai. I don't know how they stacked all those on my boy. The fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck? 50 meters in three seconds? Be a fucking motorcycle? Man, the U and UG stands for Usain Bolt, I guess. Sugisawa so Hospital. Okay, we're gonna go visit Gramps. Is this Grandpa all he's got? <laughs> Come on. Come on, you just learn. Listen to your grandpa one time, real quick. You never know what you got till it's gone. They seem to have a nice relationship, though. Despite, like, he's probably happy that Yuji is there at the end of the day. That's an admirable thing to strive for. Okay, well that's very depressing. My man's talking like he's about to go out in like any second now. Hey, yo, yo, old man, say something. It's no fucking way, dog. Now I'm sad. Like, I feel like I'm going to cry now. Just like that, Gramps? Straight up, just like that? Hey, at least he got to go out on his own terms. Said what he needed to say. Well, he didn't get to tell uh, Yuji about his parents. Maybe that explained why my man is a fucking tiger gorilla in a human's body. A torilla. So is he an orphan now or something? Okay, so this is his first time actually dealing with loss. Yeah, that's totally not creepy at all. Ushiguro. Oh, God. Yeah, this. I was going to say Iguchi and his other senpai. So yeah, no wonder they show up at schools. Like, children are, like, wrought with hormones and emotions. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, GG to his friends. Goodbye, uh, Iguchi Senpai and other girl. Their designs weren't very distinct, so you already knew they were gonna get clapped. Hate to see it. They were a very nice supporting cast, though. Son, it's not even in there. Yes, yes, go get your friends, my man. They're dead, yes. <laughs> Get to move and hop to it, bro. Defeat the cliche, don't let them die. Look, I get, uh, I get being thrill chasers, but the both of you couldn't even step inside these scary places without Yuji around. So why are y'all doing this? Yo, wrap that back up. Wrap it up. Wrap. Hop out the window. Something. It's time to go. Oh, what the fuck? So how they opened it up? What did it? They said the seal gets weaker. Oh yeah, see. He did. He did say that seals get weaker over time. Oh no. Nah. Man, it's feeling somebody's spiritual pressure. Listen, my son Yuji got the power of friendship. You know he's coming in there. Oh, fuck no. Ew, what the fuck? What is that? Oh, no, get the fuck away from me, bro. I can't see your head. Let's get that. Ugh. Hey, yo, hurry up, please. I think it might be too late for Iguchi, though, but save somebody. Oh, shit. That's pretty fucking dope. No, you're not. You're the main character. Get in there, bro, buddy. This is actually a very um realistic depiction of like uh the grieving process. Oh oh no. Oh man, Iguchi getting swallowed and fucking Hansy McHands the ghost over here filling up the old girl. Well, like, is he afraid that he's going to hit them in the process? Hey, yo. <sighs> okay. Make sure your man still has a head on head, though, because... Okay, he's still there. Yuji's a beast. What the fuck was that? He 
You need to ask how the fuck he jumped all the way up to like the third floor. This man got familiars. No, they chowing down. Yeah, this is a kind of this is a semi-realistic uh, depiction of the grieving process. A lot of people really don't think about the about death and its implications until they're faced with it. Oh, well, just hand it over. Oh, well, plot got to happen somehow. Plot. Oh shit. Okay, so Yuji about to steal his demon hunting powers. Fushiguro about to be his Rukia, let's get it. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, the Yuji is lit. It just heals right back. This shit is cheap. Yo, where's the DM? We got a problem. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh god. Bro, bro, do something. Hit him while I'm not trying to get eaten. Oh god. Oh hell no. Yeah, man. Hell. <laughs> You about to witness that one in a million chance. I like how they led up to that with a little heartbeat in the background. Oh, he has little black wristbands now. It's like when you're a DM and you run into somebody that just fucking maxes out strength the entire time. Oh, nah. The women. So I'm guessing the Sukuna guy. <laughs> hey, the tattoos are really fucking cool, though. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Relax. Jesus. I'm gonna elbow the shit out of him. Oh, 
I love how it just jumps straight into episode. So thank, thank you, thank you for no, no time for reprieve. Am I right? But yeah. So my thoughts on Jujutsu Kaisen episode one. Let's get right into it. All right. So straight out the gate, I can. I can kind of already see where people are getting the well, my friends in particular get the whole uh, the bleach comparison from because like towards the end there, it did feel like it would have went down the route of like how bleach went down where the hollow attack and Rukio got clapped and then she had to give Ichigo her power so Ichigo could fucking beat the hollow. But Jujutsu Kaisen went its own way, did a different spin. Had our main character, Yuji, like, go out on a limb and do what he had to do to save the day, which is also dope. And way more original, I feel like. All that aside, episode was dope. I really fuck with it. The art style is amazing. Eve does the opening, so I already rock with that. If y'all haven't seen my channel already, I really like Eve's music. Uh, I liked how in the beginning, what I, I don't, one thing I've noticed about like, um, a lot of the anime that I enjoy consuming is they don't really have like one heart stuck, uh, genre, but obviously this is a shonen. I like how it had, um, a lot of the hallmarks of, uh, a lot of the hallmarks with the characters in regards to like different genres, like. With his like um Iguchi and Sasaki and uh what's his name? The president that they call the Sea Angels, like you see many uh like that whole interaction felt like a gag anime. And I really fucked with that. I hope we get more of that in the future. But it seems like it's gonna go down the route of like a baddie of the week or battle shonen kind of thing. So I doubt we'll be seeing Sasaki and Iguchi anytime soon. It's kind of a shame because I like the way that them and uh, Yuji played off each other. So I'll just hope that I'm right. I'm, I'll just hope that I'm wrong in this case. In this case because they don't really have like... Uh, they don't have character designs that pop out. So they seem like they'd probably be very easy to be discarded for the story. And... Yeah. She was pretty great. Shout out to the class president. I enjoyed him. Like I said, the straight man is one of my favorite uh archetypes in comedy and gag gag anime period. They just they just like they just rein you in and make you realize the ridiculousness of a situation cuz the coach just came in there and I'm like there's nobody sees a problem here like <laughs> This grown ass man re ripped my son's fucking applic application and then came in here to challenge him to a 1v1. It's like, what the fuck is going on, bro? But yeah, other than that, the art style was dope. Soundtrack is dope for, uh, I feel like we didn't get much of it, but we got enough. Like, it, it, it like it had this very, like, overbearing, haunting feel to it. And shout out to whoever is like designing the the monsters in this because that is some creepy shit. My God, like uh, when Iguchi pulls up out of the shadows, he has like the hands clamming all over his face like that. <laughs> like I'm not squeamish or anything, but I get scared pretty easily. So there's that. And yeah, I'm actually interested in this I, w I want to see more of this world this all seems like very fucked up so far though because like um like they said there's some like these uh these cursed beings are like produced through negative emotions and whatnot so it's like obviously they're gonna be at a school schools are wrought with like fucking hormone hum hormone and hormonal and emotional adult children that are just like having a shit time, hate the world and hate each other to like an extreme extent. 
And um, I'd imagine that not just school, work would definitely have that that a lot of curse shit going on. Cause like, uh, I would I'm not gonna say Japan in particular because like America's work culture is really fucking shitty as well. But like, uh, a lot of people say that Japan has like a terrible work life imbalance because you have things like uh black companies over there like the black office workers and stuff like that, that just like have them working for like fucking 14 hour shifts and shit. It's fucking no paid overtime and just all types of ridiculous shit. Nonsensical hours, like working is your life. So that would def I see, I can see how that would definitely be breed like negativity. And I don't know if the author will do this, but I feel like that's a good opportunity to like, um, that's a good opportunity to use that and go to like and criticize and you, you could use that and criticize many facets of society and be like, oh, like, OK, we have a, probably a funeral home or a hospital or a cemetery, like all types of places that you could use to just breed this kind of content, not, not content, breed these kind of creatures feel me like it's definitely something that you could use for uh any kind of commentary really not even just social like if you just have something to say about the way you feel like your society is running the way your world is going you could definitely use that so i'm actually very interested to see how this goes on moving forward and yeah it all seems very interesting and i can't wait to check out more uh i also really appreciated the way that they handled um Yuji's grieving process because I had some because when I was like 14 or 13 and my dad was murdered I kind of went through a similar thing like I didn't really react to it like obviously I felt sad for a little bit but like I didn't really react because it was like it was like I'm coming to grips with like yo people really die like I'm going to die. People around me are going to die. People actually die. This is some serious shit. And that's a realistic reaction. Like when he was talking to Fushiguro, he was like, Fushiguro, he was like, oh, people really die. And Fushiguro was just like confused. Like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? It's like, yeah, that's how it is. That's really how it be. Shout out to his grandpa. He said some real shit before he went out. That actually made me tear up a little bit. You probably couldn't see it because I have my glasses and the lights and everything, but it made me tear up a little bit. I was ready to get choked up because that was, that was beautiful. But yeah, I'm OJ. So shout out episode one of Jujutsu Kaisen. I really fucked with that. I can't wait to check out more. I'm out of here. Peace.